Hi everyone, this is Megan Kelly from iHeartEDU, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to app smash Canva and Google Drawings for the ultimate graphic design experience. So where I'm at right now is I am on canva.com, and this is my Canva, so I'm already logged into my account. If you wanna create your own, it's very simple. You can just log in with Google, and it is a free service. There are parts of it that you can pay for, but um, if you want to use the free service, I think you would find that you pretty much have everything that you would need. So on this screen, you can see all the files that I have been working on or have worked on in the past, as well as ways to create designs up here. So when you look at this, you can choose more and it will take you to a screen where there is a whole host of templates that you can choose from and then um, start building your design off of it. Now, I use this a lot on my blog and my website to create different uh, banners or I guess posters, not necessarily posters, infographics, things like that. Um, a lot of stuff that's used on my blog because it's very high quality looking, it looks very nice. Um, and then in the classroom, my students have used it for their blogs and they've created infographics and they've done a lot with this as well. And it's very easy to use. And as you can see, there's just a lot of different um, options to choose from. You can do photo collages, you could do infographics, you could choose to uh, make it look like a magazine, you can make certificates. So it's very, uh, there's just very diverse in the amount of templates that you have. So in this case, I am going to use the infographic one. I'm just going to open that in a new tab. And when this opens up, you're going to see not only um, do I have like a blank one right now, but I could choose from all these different templates that are over here on the left. Now it's important to note there's a lot of free ones. And then if I scroll down far enough, there starts to be ones that um, have paid features in them. So like this one right here, it has a dollar sign. That means either the whole thing I might have to pay for it, or there might be um, images or graphics in it that I would have to pay for. Um, so for this case, I'm just going to select one and just show you what that looks like. So when it opens up, you can see that it's already built and it's very nice. It's very, it, I think the best word I can use is like, it looks very trendy and crisp and clear and colorful and it's very appealing. And then you could just go in and you can edit um, the text. You can delete out the graphics if you want to put new ones in. And if I wanted to start from scratch, I could as well. But on the left side, I'll just walk you through a few key features real quick. There are all these elements. Um, there's free photos that are available, um, different grids you can make, frames, shapes, lots of free things that you can choose to put in there. Icons um, are a big one, so maybe I don't want this icon right here and I'm gonna delete it out, but maybe I want, I'm just gonna choose this one and I could click on it and input it. And you can see it's very easy to use. And again, these are all free, but if I were to scroll down far enough, I might just start to find some that are um, paid ones. And it look, as you can see, there's a ton of free ones that you can use though. All right. Um, I can go in and I can edit the text. One thing I love about this is, you know, it gives you ideas on how to organize the text. Um, and again, there's lots of free options, just tons of things. And when you use this, um, even if this is in white, you could change this to blue or brown or whatever color it is that you want to change that um, kind of like triangle or diamond shape into. And you've just, again, you've got tons of choices and it gives you lots of ideas that are pre-made so you don't have to really come up with all the ideas yourself. And then there's backgrounds that you can choose and then you can even upload your own photos into it as well. So that's just kind of a really brief overview of Canva. And then up here you could download it and it gives you options of how to download it. So you could download as a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. So that's just kind of a really quick overview of Canva. It's very user-friendly, so I just encourage you to kind of play around with it. But for the sake of this video, I want to um, talk about the idea of combining Canva and Google Drawings into one. So I'm going to pull up one that I was working on. And you can see that I took one of the templates and I started filling in some information on um, an infographic for myself that is on flipping the classroom. And one thing that I love about Canva, obviously, is like all the 
templates and how appealing it is and how easy it is to create. The thing that Google, I think, drawings tends to win over the other is that ability to edit um, simultaneously and to view and share and comment um, for yourself and especially for the students. Because if your students are using this, um, this is very pretty and it looks very nice, but how do we make the technology more purposeful and how does it help students learn? So if you wanted to um, combine these two features together, all you have to do is just download it. Um, that's the first step. So we're going to download it as a PNG and that's fine. You could do a PNG or a JPEG would be fine for this case. And one other thing I'm going to want to check in a second is what the size of this image was because I'm going to want to adjust that on drawings. So if I was to go back up to my designs and if I was just to hover over this infographic, I can see that the infographics are 800 by 2000 pixels. So that's important when we um, go over to drawings. So once you've downloaded your image, you'll come over to drawings, go to file, go to page setup, and then we're going to choose custom. And instead of inches, I'm going to change it to pixels. And as we saw, it was 800 by 2000. So you can see that, you know, that's already starting to become the shape of what we have over here. Now I downloaded that image and I'm just going to go to insert image. And since I downloaded it, it's just in my downloads folder. I can click on that and it's going to just insert it right in. And as you can see, it fits really well. So the cool thing with this is imagine if this was your students working on it, they were able to create kind of like the basis and the foundation of their infographic with Canva. So instead of getting bogged down with creating and designing it, they were able to use Canva um, in that way so that they could put in a lot of the information and make it look pretty. But now when they come over here, they could start adding more features into it and spend more time focusing on what they're doing and why they're doing it. What's the content? What are they trying to show that they know? Um, and then they can also work on it simultaneously and it'll be easier to share and view with other students. So over here, it's kind of blank right now. So maybe I want to add in some images. So let's see, let's go and search for some images. So I'm going to do like a record icon. And let's see, let's just use that one. So just as an example, I could then go in and I could start putting in my own images right on top of it. And so I could insert that right there. And one thing that I do like with Google Drawings just a little bit more than I like with um, Canva is um, how the linking feature works. So then I could find my link for Screencastify, click on this icon, and I could link to it. And so now that's in there. Maybe I want to show, um, you know, sharing it with students with another image. So we'll do people icon. And so maybe I like this one. And again, it just kind of inserts in. And then I could link off to something else. Or maybe it's just this time, it's just a picture there. Now, let's say you already have some, you know, graphics on there, but you do want to add links. So for instance, up here, I've got a link right here or an image of my blog. And so what I could do is I could simply take a shape. So this is almost a square and I'll just put this as like a square over it. And it's going to look really ugly for a second. I'll take the link to my website and I'll link to it. But then I'm going to change this to transparent and the edges to transparent. So you don't see it anymore. But if I was to um, view it or if I was viewing it in like the preview mode, I could click on it. So I'll show you real quick, quick what that means. So I'm just going to copy this over here and change this to preview. And so if I was to view this, I could see, oh, I could click on this and it would take me right to my blog. So it's just a very easy and simple way to add in links if there's already, you know, images that you want to be a link on there. So as you can see, this is really easy to use. Um, all you have to do is create it in Canva and then 
bring it into drawings and start editing it. Like I said before, I really like this idea because I think that, you know, for students, it would be very good for them to be able to still share and comment on each other's. Plus that option to, you know, show it as a preview looks really good and just very clear in the end. Whereas with Canva, if it's in a, you know, a PDF or a JPEG, it's not shareable. It's not as easy for um, the students to view and share and comment and edit. So hopefully this is something that you can try. And if it is, let me know because you might come up with ideas that I did not come up with and I would love to hear about them. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to me on my website. Thank you.